Hello and welcome to Sundown Slashers, a Halloween horror add-on for Duel. In Sundown Slashers, you send a band of adventurers on a mission, and while they're on their mission, a slasher is chasing them down, hunting them and killing them one by one and making their mission as hard as possible. In this mission, there are scattered these clue markers across the area. So the heroes will have to gather the clues. Meanwhile, there are minions, zombies in this case, um, which are getting in the way of the adventurers. And also there are some jump scare markers which will move across the area. The jump scare markers are a sort of position markers for the slasher. And whenever a jump scare markers gets too close to one of the adventurers, um, the slasher has a chance to jump out and to slaughter away. For this game, for this mission, uh, four jump scare markers have been placed. That's a standard difficulty. You may want to play this game on the easy mode with three jump scare markers, in a hard mode with five jump scare markers, or in the nightmare fuel mode with six jump scare markers. So for now, let's see how far the heroes will come. The heroes start within a corner of the board. But at first, initiative is determined. The blue dice always is for the player miniatures. The white dice go for the game-driven miniatures, the slasher and the his minions, the zombies. So the game-driven miniatures move first. Um, currently, all of them are off-screen. In the constitutive terms, I change the, the angle of the camera so you have a better view of what's going on in the game. Uh, for now, I'm just telling um, over here there's a stone and behind there a zombie moved. So none of the characters has a line of sight to the zombie. None of them can react and now it's the first um, player-driven miniatures move. Um, Jean may activate along with her um, two followers. She's got a special ability allowing her to do so. And one follower moves here, the other, the others just move up to her. So do they have any opponent within line of sight? No, they don't. All right, but they activate it. Another zombie moves in off screen. Mm. The soldier moves here. And another zombie moves off screen. There, Swallow sticks to her soldier. Zombies are getting closer. And Tiradora moves over here. And Last but not least, um, 
Estrella. Estrella is fast, so she can move eight inches. Her follower is not so fast, just moves four inches and Estrella takes her spirit die along with her. And that was a first move, a first turn. All right, initiative, the heroes, the player-driven miniatures may act first, but first, first things first, the upkeep phase and during upkeep the jump scare markers move. And here we've got one jump scare marker within 10 inches to the player miniatures. So it just moves five inches towards the nearest player-driven miniature, so here into the forest. And now the player miniatures may act. Mm. We start once again here with Stay where you are. Here with Jean. She's none of them is within four inches to the jump scare marker. This would have triggered the jump scare. So for now, they just move ahead towards their first mission goal over here. Once again, they all move in unison. And they are within reach to this guy. Um, this fellow here is behind a, an obstructing, a, sign of, a line of sight obstructing a piece of terrain. So they fire at this one. Um, Jean fires on a three. The soldiers on a, oh, come on, on a four. The zombie, or the melee fighter may only try to Resist damage, which it does on a 5, which is too slow. So, Jean shoots first. The blue dice are for hitting. The red dice are for checking whether she needs to um, reload because the weapon has jammed or something. And when both dice score a weapon jammed result, a 5 or a 6, the weapon is jammed. So Jean shoots at the zombie. Um, she receives a minus one to each die rolled. Um, so those are results of five plus three. That's two times an eight. So the zombie is taken out of the, the game. No relo reload required. And now only the other two guys who still shoot um, check for reload. Nope. And the other one, nope. Great. And that was their action. And the zombie moves in. This one hides behind the stone. So Estrella meddles with the spirit world, raising her spirit die to two. That's um, so she raises her chances to actually cast a spell. And more zombies move in. Just this one. Let's check. 16 inches reach. Oh, that's quite a lot. These guys. So these two and these two may open fire onto the zombie. Mm. Once again. Every one of these on a five, the three of them, not those two, the three of them. Jean on a four, and the 
soldiers on fives each and the zombie tries to avoid damage on a4 4 plus 3 is 7 however a zombie can't as heavily armored so they receive a minus 1 to each die rolled so that's a 6 it's no um, success however the 9 minus 1 is 8 is a success the zombie blocks damage so only a result of 7 actually scores a hit. So Jean rolls a dice. This one is out. She does not have to reload. Five, 4 plus 5 is 9. Minus 1 is 8. That's not a 7. So no hit has been scored. This soldier has caught a 9 minus 1 is 8 and an 8 minus 1 is 7. Zombie is down, no reload. And that soldier, too high, no reload. Okay, this soldier only gets one die to reload and has to reload. And does not score hits. Those dice have rolled too high. And this soldier, the same, he reloads, but one die too low and one die too high. All right. Mm. So let's make it simple. Theodora moves in, fires at the zombie lying on the ground. That's an automatic hit. She just needs to check whether she needs to reload. Yes. But the zombie is out. Great. Mm. Zombies rolled back, are getting closer. These guys are advancing. Mm. Hmm. Is he within reach? Yes, he is. So he may fire at this zombie and he fires on a 4. The zombie tries to prevent damage on a 5. That's too slow. So 6 turns 5, 7 turns 6. Not a hit, not a reload either. And one zombie from the back is moving over here. Four, five. Okay. Mm. Swallow moves closer. And oh, damn. Oh, dang. Okay. But she has the zombie within reach and opens fire on a three. The zombie tries to prevent damage on a six. That's too slow. Swallow only has got pistol, so she only needs to reload on a six. But she doesn't score a hit. Mm. Uh, 
This guy shouldn't have shot. Shot he? This is a guy with a giant weapon. Never mind, he didn't hit you anyway. Um, right, this guy reloads. So here these guys have activated and last but not least this one approaches here and Estrella activates by casting a spell. By casting a spell. And she casts Untamed. Onto, onto whom? <laughs> onto Swallow. That's one success. Two plus six is eight. So that means the spirit die advances. Estrella receives one insanity for one success. Hmm. Small dice. And Swallow receives a marker. So in her next duel, she may reroll one die. Okay. Initiative. Heroes act first. But at first, the jump scare markers act. This one gets an automatic move towards the nearest character which is uh, Swallow. <clears throat> and the others perform random movements. The one over here remains in position. The one back there, you can see it. Five inches, it's, it's pretty much just to the other side of the house. Uh, we've got one back there. Three inches down here. All right. So, who can we make act first? Estrella casts another spell. She has to check whether she may cast a spell because she already has gun slightly insane. So she needs to roll a value above her insanity value, which she manages to do. So she may cast a spell and she casts determination onto swallow. That's three successes. Wow. Okay. The spirit die once again goes up. Her insanity value as well. And for the next three turns, Swallow is very determined to kill. All right, around the corner comes a zombie, which comes pretty close to these guys. So it's in the dead zone for these, so they cannot shoot at the zombie. But Swallow can and this soldier can. Mm. Swallow shoots on a 3. The soldier shoots on a 5. The zombie tries to avoid damage on a 4. The result of 
10, no, rather 9. However, Swallow gets to shoot first. She does not have to reload. 3 plus 4 turn 3 is 6. One success, two successes, the zombie is taken out of the game. So, no, only this soldier needs to check whether he needs to reload. Nope. Okay. Estrella has acted. Mm. So, Swallow acts. She's in direct vicinity to the Slasher. So, she tries to resist the jump scare. That's a special kind of a duel. Uh, she starts by picking a dual score. The jump scare rolls a separate dual score, which is compared to a table, a result of one um, turns into a two. So the jump scare has got a lower dual score than Swallow does. So Swallow can't resist a single scare attack the jump scare would have uh, made. And so this means Swallow's insanity goes up by one. The jump scare is removed and the slasher is placed in direct base contact. However, it's Swallow's activation and she is swift. So she may move out of this combat and the slasher does not have a chance to retaliate. Mm. Does she open fire and risk shooting the follower? And thus wasting her untamed die. No, she doesn't. But then again, she's determined. And she might <coughs> she might challenge the slasher once again. That's what determined means after all. Okay, she does. She uses the fall as her dual score. Mm, her own dude is in a melee, so we need to roll for him on the dual score. On a five, he would avoid damage, unless he's too slow. And the slasher avoids damage on a four. Um, for the player-driven models, avoiding damage works when they've got an equal dual score to the one who's shooting at them, uh, since their dual score gets rolled to balance this out a little bit. So yeah, the slasher tries to avoid damage. And now we first check where, who Swallow shoots actually, the slasher or the, um, the, 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 the soldier, one, two, three, four, five, six. She shoots the slasher. The slasher tries to avoid damage on a 9, so only results of 7 and 8 actually um, cause damage. That's pretty much it. 2 times a 7, the 9 does not cause any damage, but that's 2 hits. And she may reroll one die due to untamed. And that's a third hit. Very good. Untamed is lost. 
and slash us down to one toughness. And because she's determined to kill, she does the whole procedure once again. Mm. Getting cocky on a three. Getting cocky on a three. So once again, this dude tries to avoid damage on a five, is too slow. The slasher tries to avoid damage on the two. Now let's see who she shoots. One, two, three, four, five, six. She shoots her own man. Seven, seven. She shoots the own man out of combat. Bam! And now everyone who has been within four inch to this fellow which is pretty much everyone around here, receives one point of insanity. Awesome. So she receives insanity. Um, she always already got one insanity, so she receives another one. How far? Yeah, even to this guy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Estrella just watches her team going insane, so she needs to check on insanity. She receives a plus one because this dude is a choir. So she succeeds at her insanity check. If she had failed, her insanity would have raised two, but for now it stays at four, which is already bad enough. All right, all right, all right. So that was Swallow's activation. Now the Slasher activates. Moving towards the nearest opponent when there are more than one in the same distance, he moves towards the um, weaker one, which is the Follower. He still has got one point of toughness left. Uh, close, but not close enough. The whirlwind attack does not hit Tiradora. Phew. If the slasher would have been a player-driven character, he would have moved somewhere here to hit them all. But it's a game-driven character, so yeah, here we are. Um, the soldier tries to resist damage on a 3. The slasher attacks on a 5. The soldier has gone insane a little bit, so he needs to check whether he actually may try to resist damage. Yes. And he resists on a seven. He resists all incoming damage. Well done. Okay. What do we do now? These three see whether they can move away from the slasher. Jean checks, yes, she can. So she moves somewhere here.
this body. Yep. Thanks you. And this one. Yes. But the slasher retaliates. So the soldier checks for um, ignoring damage. And the slasher attacks on a two. Delivers one damage, which is enough as this, this slasher has got the uh, ability chill, which basically converts all damage to insanity at first and then causes one point of damage per insanity a character has. So two points of damage are enough to, um, to eliminate a follower. So once again, everyone within four inches receives one point of insanity. Oh boy. This just becomes ugly. This just becomes pretty ugly. What a nice saying. I'm just noticing pretty ugly. Heh. <laughs> Language is funny. Uh, I swallow it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These two just activated, so they may fire at the slasher. Jean tries her luck on a three. The soldier on a, uh, why not, on a five. The slasher tries to avoid damage on a six. That's far too slow. Jean has to check whether she may actually shoot. Um, because of insanity, insanity value of two. Yes, she may. So, grabbing some dice. One, two hits. The slasher goes down. And the soldier needs to check. Yes, he may shoot. Scoring two more hits. And his weapon blocks. Or jams. And they have activated. So let's see who is left. Yeah, battles don't determine who is right, only who is left. I know. Tiradora checks whether she can unjam her weapon. Yes, she can. And the final soldier here just moves closer. That's it. Oh, what a turn. All right. Initiative. Heroes go first, but at the very first, once again, the jump scare markers. Mm, yeah, this one gets an automatic movement of five inches towards these fellows. No, it's not close enough to trigger. This one gets a random movement. It stays in position. The one behind there stays in position. One, two, three. Okay. Um, wow. No, 
these two check whether they can activate. Jean first, yes. And the soldier, yes. Because the soldier just reloads. And they both fire at the zombie. Mm. John on a three, the soldier on a five. <clears throat> zombie tries to prevent the incoming damage on a five, so John gets to shoot first. A weapon jams. She's got one hit. The soldier fires. Yep, that's the remaining hits. That's okay. Mm, the zombie has disappeared, but here in the back, on the other side, there is still one zombie remaining. And it just moved into the line of sight of these guys, but not within range of swallow. Okay, no, they don't they don't see the zombie, only these two guys. Mm. Soldier bats on a safe shot. Tiradora on a somewhat quicker shot. Mm. The zombie tries to resist damage on a two, but fails with the results. So Tiradora shoots first. That's three successes, but she needs to reload. Is she even allowed to, to shoot? Wait a second, yeah, because she's insane, but she still may shoot. Three successes, so the zombie is taken out too. And the soldier just needs to check for jamming weapon. Nope, okay, great. Okay, you guys have acted. Um, Estrella catches breath, as does her follower. So you guys have acted. Um, Tiradora checks whether she may reload. Yes. And last but not least, Swallow, with three insanity, she catches breath. You don't need to perform a check when catching breath. This happens automatically and um, always succeeds. And it helps you regaining your sanity. There's one zombie that kept well hidden the entire time. So it's still on the board. Initiative. Heroes before zombies, but... Jumpscare markers first. And the ones behind there. This one moves into the building. And the one in the very back moves two to the side. All right. Mm. Whoa. She should not activate too soon. The 
Tella checks whether she may cast a spell. 3 plus 1 is 4, that's not sufficient. So her turn is wasted. Mm. The zombie moves out of hiding. Mm. And everyone can shoot at it. All right. With a five, well, not her, but this dude. Um, Tiradora and even Swallow should be able to shoot it on a two. Nah, on a four. Come on. Mm, the zombie goes for preventing damage on a six. Way too slow for pretty much everyone. So, Tiradora, first shot. That's one hit, and she needs to reload. Oh, I forgot. Was an insanity value of two. Yes, she may shoot. One hit, zombie down. Mm. On four, swallow, may shoot. That's three hits. The zombie is taken out of the game. No reload. Okay, this guy checks for a reload. Yep. And this guy checks for a reload. Yes. So, whoa, whoa. Alrighty, righty, right. Not good, not good, not good at all. Mm. Here nobody has um, activated. So this guy activates and reloads. Tiradora activates and reloads. Stop. Okay. Yep, yeah, she may. And how far away is Swallow? Too far away. She needs to move. Yes, she may move. Up to four inches. That's here. Pretty much. She's still got determination for this turn. And that was her activation. And now it's up to these two guys. They too have to. Um, I have to trigger the jump scare. Jean checks whether she can activate at all. No, she cannot. So whatever she was about to do, she cannot do it. Only the soldier may try. It doesn't either. Both of them are returned to gibbering blobs. And they may react to the jump scare. John tries to go for a two. The one turns into a two, though her dual score is not lower than the two, though no resist. The slasher jumps in base contact, raising John's insanity by one. She can't do anything, so we get a melee situation here with her just trying to um, to 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 avoid damage. She goes for the two. The soldier tries his best on a four. The slasher attacks on a four. Which for the soldier, so the soldier is too slow, but John 
tries her luck and gets a 7, so she defends all incoming damage. Um, slasher is at full health. However, the slasher may attack the soldier. It's two hits, that's enough. Let's check. Anyone within four inches? Oh no, 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 not close enough. Um, the soldier dies. Her insanity just raised to four. And now it's the slasher's turn. The slasher's activation. Who once again attacks. Joan checks whether she may, um, may, 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 may fight back, but she cannot. So her only option is once again to, um, to try to prevent damage. Again on A2, the slasher attacks on A2 also. One hit and John is down. Here comes the hit. Raising her insanity to five. Five damage is enough to take her out. Mm, anyone within four inches to her? Nope. All right. Oh, damn. Everyone else already has activated. Great, what a turn. Initiative. Oh, slasher before heroes. It gets worse and worse. The jump scares. The one behind there remains in position. The other one, the remaining one, be remains in position. All right. Towards the nearest, I think they're both an equal distance, and in that case, towards the weakest, which is Estrella. Um, yeah, that's one and a half movement actions away, which is sufficient for a charge. Slasher still is at full health. And Estrella may check whether she may fight back. No, she may not. So all she can do is try to avoid damage. Whew. On, yeah, on a four, whatever. Let's just hope for the best. However, um, everyone else is dedicated in delivering as much damage as possible, even if it hits the wrong person. Okay. Mm. The slasher attacks on a Two, wonderful. Scores one hit, which is enough to take down Estrella. Let's see where she stood, because everyone within four inch receives one point of insanity. Oh boy. Dang. Um Let's 
one by one. This guy delivers two automatic points of damage. Does he need to reload? Nope. Swallow checks whether she may shoot. Yes, she may. That's three points of damage and no reload. The slasher goes down. And Tiradora checks whether she may shoot. No, she doesn't shoot. Okay. But they all haven't activated yet. So, well, this dude makes an automatic hit onto the slasher, doesn't need to reload, the slasher is taken out for now. <clears throat> okay, and the remaining characters just catch breath. What a quick turn. Let's check for the um, jump scares. Oh dear. This one comes out five inches, pretty much over here. And the remaining one behind there, five inches to the left. Off screen once again. Mm. Yeah. They need to try to get away. Mm. Swallow starts, remains in position. The soldier is she? Yeah, okay, so it doesn't matter too much. The soldier just gets here. Tiradora catches breath and this follower has, is a, a melee follower so maybe we can still sacrifice him for the greater good or for whatever. Well, the jump scares moves. The other jump scare moves randomly. Five inches across the table. <laughs> Tiradora catches press. Swallow. Catches press. Hmm. What about this guy? Moving him here so he may maybe charge into the slasher just in case. He comes up. This one triggers the jump scare. Tries to resist on a three. The jump scare gets a two. So that's no resist. One point of insanity and a slasher in base contact. The soldier tries to get out of uh, the melee, though the slasher can retaliate. Um, soldier tries to avoid damage on a three. The slasher attacks on the five. Not enough. Two hits, which are enough to eliminate the soldier. So once again, everyone within four inches 
Um, receives insanity. <laughs> well, well, well. And the slasher once again is back at full health. And now it's even the slasher's turn. The slasher's activation. So... Does he move further in three inches? Yep, he does. That's a charge into Swallow. Swallow checks whether she may fight back. No, she cannot. So all she can do is um, try to avoid damage on a six. That's way too slow. The slasher attacks on a one, hmm, it's fast but unprecise as well. It's a six, it's one hit. The swallow already has got two insanity, now she's got three, causing her to go down and taking another three insanity. Tiradora just witnessed a teammate going insane, but it doesn't affect her. And this dude is too far away. And she goes for a Precision shot. The slasher may try to avoid damage on a one. Um, doesn't get the required results. So does Tiradora hit one, two, three, or four, five, six? Four, five, six. She attacks the slasher. doesn't score a single hit. Curses. The final jump scare marker. Right here, moves still around the board. Initiative. Oh, come. The slasher goes first. Um, yeah. He attacks the, uh, the swallow lying on the ground. Um, still a game driven character, so he misses. Oh, wait a second. Did swallow get up during upkeep? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So, a different situation. Once again, Swallow is entirely insane. The only thing she can do is um, trying to avoid damage, which she does on a 2. She's risking it. And there she's got the 5 to, um, to avoid all incoming damage, no matter the Result and well, who okay? Her turn is over by default. Mm. Which doesn't mean it doesn't get resolved. So 
No, she doesn't act first. This guy tries to charge. Yes, he may. He charges the slasher and gets a plus one. Mm. Plus another one for support. So he attacks on a two, the slasher strikes back on a six. Well, it's at least one point of damage. Brave soldier. So the slasher deals three automatic damage to this guy, three automatic damage to Swallow due to his whirlwind attack. This looks friggin' ugly. And yes, of course, with two guys in vicinity dying, Tiradora gets closer to insanity. Mm. But she goes for an eviscerate shot. It's something only working with precision. The slasher tries to avoid damage on a one. And here comes the six required for a seven, so no hits come in. Too bad. Initiative. Oh, slasher first. The remaining um, jump scare moves. Slasher steps in. Tiradora checks whether she may fight back. No, so she can only try to avoid damage. That's an 8. So each result of a 7 is a hit. That's an 8 and two sixes. No hit. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, well, <clears throat> Tiradora tries to get out of this melee and has to check whether she can. Nope. Wasted. Wasted her turn. Okay. Initiative. Hero first, and the jump scare five inches upwards off screen. Tiradora once again tries to move back. Yeah, she may. Um, the slasher retaliates. Tiradora tries to um, tries to avoid damage on a three. The oh, this would be nice. The slasher attacks on a five, which is too slow. So Tiradora avoids all the damage, and moves back just out of the dead zone but not far enough to grant the slasher a plus one charge bonus. And she fires once again an eviscerate shot at the slasher. The slasher tries to avoid damage on a two. Which is not enough. So, yo. 
So, Tiradora scores three hits. And Slasher gets three eviscerate points. And now all she needs to do is survive this turn. And the turn after. Slasher catches up with Tiradora. And attacks. She tries to fight back. Checks whether she may. Yep. No, she doesn't. She tries to um, avoid damage. And the slasher attacks on a four. Three results of eight. So if the slasher manages to roll a, a three, a single three, he scores a hit, but he doesn't. Very good. Next turn. Um, the jump scare marker remains in position. Um, Eviscerate triggers, causing another point of damage. Oh, that's slow. That's way too slow. Um, once again, she checks whether she may dodge out of this combat. She may. Um, on a three, she resists damage. The slasher attacks on a six. Was an eight, so only results of seven score hits. None does. So once again, Tiradora just moves back and goes for a precision shot on a two, on a three. Come on. The slasher tries to avoid damage on a one. And there he's got his result of seven. The precision shot is wasted. <sighs> the slasher follows up. Tiradora tries to prevent damage on a two. The slasher attacks on a five. Here comes the seven. She defends everything. Next turn, upkeep, jump scare marker moves. No, remains in position. Eviscerate. Two hits. And Same game as before. Tiradora checks whether she may get out of the situation. Nope, her turn just became wasted. This guy still has got his eviscerate die. Um, this guy attacks. And Tiradora tries to prevent damage on a two. The slasher attacks on a six. Tiradora rolls fives, which is good as they prevent all incoming damage. Next turn. Once again, the um, jump scare marker behind there moves even further behind there. And the slasher receives his remaining two hits automatically due to eviscerate and is out of the game for now. Whew. Tiradora 
no catch a press three times and that's three movements for the jump scare marker and well let's let's make it short um Once again, one last duel between the last sniper versus a chance of a melee monster. Tiradora tries to resist the jump scare on a2. The jump scare gets a value of 4. That's 3 times a 10. So each result of 7, 8, and 9 is a resist. That's two resists and one fail. Two resists actually just mean one more insanity, but no slasher. Woohoo! Awesome. That's been the final um, jump scare marker. So for now, the only remaining miniature in game is actually Tiradora, who now can go around and gather the clues and walk into the building and catch the, the final clue and free the area of the slasher. Victory! What a close and action-packed final. Tiradora, the sniper of all of the others. The one who is responsible for delivering damage at range. Managed to resist a slasher trying to chop away at her. And she defended each of the slashers with her rifle only to get in a very special, very evil shot at the slasher, finishing him off. And, well, that's the kind of awesomeness you can get at playing Sundown Slashers. Well, if you liked what you've seen, make sure to like the video, to share it, show it to others. And if you want to see more, Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever a new video pops up. Until then, see you around. Bye bye.